Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and I'm out. <laughs> Hi, it's T with T Quilts, and this video is about what have I done in the month of January. As many of you all know, I took off the month of January. I was only doing my live chats on Wednesdays and I didn't really upload a whole lot of videos, but I did end up toward the end of the month uploading two videos and I'll put the links up at the eye above, but one was the Star of the East and I also uploaded the video for my completed projects for the month of December. So I will make sure that I give you links to those. I was actually going through some of my stuff because I get stuff from people all the time and so I was going through some of that stuff doing a lot of purging but one of the first things I did in January was that I had a live chat for New Year's Eve that I was online almost seven hours and I worked on this quilt top here called Simplish and you can look up the pattern online and see where you can find it for purchase. I just wanted to come and show a full photo of the quilt top and it is windy outside. It has not been quilted. None of my projects have been quilted because I also took off um, from t-shirt making as well as long arm quilting. So I've got some catching up to do. But I really like this. I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it. So it will probably just go in my to be quilted pile. And when I need a quilt top for somebody, then I will come and use this item. So that's it for this quilt top. This next quilt top, this pattern is called Exploding Star. And I actually used my eight inch cube, but you could technically use any cube that you have. You'll just change the size of your actual quilt top. I showed this a little bit on my Facebook page as I was working on it, but I just wanted to come into my video and do the final reveal. Some things that I did differently for this pattern, the author of the pattern, which is called, Ex I think I may have said Exploding Star, but this is Exploding Heart. I have a pattern called Exploding Star, but uh, it calls for the white areas to all have four inch squares cut and then you sew them all back together and what I did was I grouped a lot of my white pieces so that I could only would have to cut one piece instead of piecing say eight to ten squares into a section I just had that one section because I bulk cut it I do plan at some point to put a border on this because I think it would make a nice bed quilt for Valentine's Day. I do have a quilt for Valentine's Day, but I don't want to use it on my bed. So I think this one with it all being pieced, instead of the one where I have applique hearts, I want to make sure that I keep my quilts as long as possible. Don't want to wash a whole lot. So I think I'm going to add a border to this. But for this video and until I can get back to my own projects, I'll just use this as is. And here is where I'm going to start inserting some photos so that you can see the quilt top that I made, Star of the East. I did this because AccuQuilt has this die called Kaleidoscope Triangles Long Cut and there are not many uh, things that you can do with that out on the internet and so I decided to make this quilt top to help some people or people that had already purchased and don't know what to do with it. I also found a block that I have been told is a pattern and I'll try to find the link for where you can purchase the pattern and I think it's called Free Willing. I also have a video on how I made the block using my AccuQuilt die cutting system and that video will be uploaded after this video. Um, so I just wanted to share those two things. I also have done some cutting for my Quilt Gill. Um, we're going to have a virtual retreat this month and so I have cut 
and been like chain piecing uh, on my Bear's Paws blocks. I probably have about 10 of those blocks made out of maybe 60. I may even make more depending on what size I want my quilt top to be. But I have been just busy doing some things and I am also working on a special project that could be a video project, but I'm trying to make sure that I have all of those sections completed before I even start uploading. So that way I'm not pressured about when is the next step coming out. So I have been really busy, um, just have not been uh, sharing a whole lot with you all on YouTube or Facebook. Uh, some things that I'm trying to prep for in the future as well and also doing some business things I'm still trying to compile everything for my taxes as well I thought I was gonna get that done in January and I have not <laughs> so I am still working on doing my tax information so that's going to be it for this video if I forget anything I'll just add photos at the end talk to you guys later thank you all so much for watching Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Share my channel with your other quilting friends. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye, T-Quilters. Stay blessed.